Jamahi Sagandim Pushti Varana Urvarukami Pabandhana Nithyur Mukshi Amangrita Namaste. Paramahansa Yogananda often used to say the yogi needs to be even-minded and cheerful. That's the way of walking the path of yoga. And what it comes down to is, is to not allow the drama of life to get us off our center. Yogis often use the analogy of the, the ocean with its many waves crashing against one another that's the surface drama of life. And they say, don't be like the waves. You know, be like the ocean, which level never changes. Even though the waves go up, the waves go down, the level of the ocean never changes. The Bhagavad Gita emphasizes this over and over again. Say, be neither elated by gain nor depressed by loss. Just stay even. And many people think that this is a very this would be a very boring life. But do you want to be a slave to the circumstances of your life? Do you want to allow the outward events to decide for you whether you're happy or not? When we can stay in that place of even minded and cheerful, but even minded, then we start to gain access to the inner world, which has a level of happiness that no outward circumstance can ever come close to matching. So in this class, in our practice, feel like your whole practice is accentuating your awareness of your center. Every time you move out, send energy out to do an active pose, try to feel it coming from your center. When you come out of that pose, feel it into a neutral pose, feel it returning to your center. When you go left and then right, try to feel that it's always a movement about your center, even your breath. Even the breath as it flows up and down the spine is a movement around your center. Everything is just a dance around the center. And you can get caught up in the dance or you can get completely absorbed in the center. And let's focus in today's practice on being aware of the center, even in the midst of activity, staying even-minded and cheerful. Let's come into a sitting position. Carolina will be assisting in this class. Let's do Nadi Shodhanam, alternate nostril breathing. We're going to bring the right hand down into Vishnu Mudra, the first two fingers Curl to the palm, other two fingers and thumb extended. And as we inhale, we'll have the right nostril closed. Then we'll hold both as we hold the breath. We'll exhale through the right nostril. We'll inhale through the right, hold both, exhale through the left nostril. That'll be one cycle of Nadi Shodhanam, two breaths. And we'll do just a few cycles here. Close the eyes. Behind closed eyelids, lift the gaze to the point between the eyebrows and close the right nostril with the thumb, and let's inhale through the left. Let's do a count of six. Hold both nostrils closed, six. Open right nostril, exhale, six. Immediately inhale right. Close both. Open left, exhale. It's one round. Inhale left. Hold. Exhale right. Inhale right. and hold. Exhale left. Good. 
Do one more round on your own. Use a longer count if you like. Nadi Shodanam really helps to bring you to a place of balance. Really reminds you of the, that dance around your center. And when you finish your next exhalation through the left nostril, just relax the right hand to your lap once again, keep the eyes closed and feel yourself now completely centered, completely balanced, trying to gain more and more awareness of that place within you that never moves. It's not a physical place, it's a place of consciousness. Let's begin to warm up the body a little bit now for our asana practice. Bring the right hand to the floor and let's inhale the left arm up overhead. Stretch tall where your mirror image is here. Exhale over to the side. Inhale up and exhale back down. Now bring the right arm up with the inhale. Exhale over to the side. Inhale up and exhale down. Left arm again. This time, let's slide the right hand out as you exhale. Inhale up and slide it back in. Other side. Sliding out as you exhale. Sliding in as you come back up. And again, warming up with the shoulder here, opening up the spine a little bit as well. And back to center. All right. Let's come up onto our knees now. We're going to do warming up for the for the hip joints and the backs of the legs. Let's step the left foot way forward. Again, we're mir mirroring you here. Let's inhale. Exhale into a lunging position. And then inhale, come back up. Exhale forward once again, lunging. Knee right over ankle, inhale up. And this time, let's hold at the bottom. Stay here for a couple breaths, just allowing the pelvis to settle down, opening through the front of the right hip. You can interlace fingers on the left knee if you like, and press into the knee a little bit and open the front of your body a bit more. Open the right hip a bit more. One more breath in this position. And let's inhale, straightening the left leg. Hands just below the hip joint. Exhaling, coming forward with a straight left leg, straight spine, and stretch through the back of the left leg. Just don't force the stretch. Just let the left leg relax, breath by breath, moment by moment. And let's inhale back to upright. Bring the left knee back to join the right. And let's do the opposite side. Inhale the right foot forward. Exhale into the lunging position. Inhaling, coming up. Exhaling forward. One more time up. And let's hold now in the stretch position. And once again, if you like, you can interlace fingers on the right knee, press into the knee and deepen the stretch through the front of the left hip, but also up into the belly and chest region. Nice, easy, smooth breaths. Try even in the warm ups to really stay aware of your center. And let's inhale, straightening the right leg. Exhale, coming forward, straight spine, straight leg. So keep the belly open, the chest open, and let the back of the right leg lengthen. Excellent. 
And then let's inhale up and come up to an upright standing position. We're going to do some warming up the spine here now. The cat-cow stretch. Bend over, palms on thighs, spine neutral. As you inhale, let's lift the tailbone and arch through the spine into a backward bend, lifting the chin. As you exhale, round through the spine, bringing chin down to chest. And inhaling, arching. Exhaling, rounding. So really concentrate on your spine. And feel, try to feel sensitively aware of the different degrees of flexibility in the different parts of the spine. See if you can even that out a bit. Those stiffer parts, getting them into the stretching and arching that they too can have that feeling of openness. One more time. And when you finish the exhalation, let's inhale to an upright position. And let's go into our asana practice now. Remember, we have a longer sequence of warm-up exercises on our website. We really recommend that you Take advantage of those so you'll be even more ready for these practice sessions. We're going to do Garudasana, a wonderful pose for accentuating your awareness of your center. The whole body seems to wrap around your center. Let's shift the weight to the left leg and wrap the right foot around to the side. I'll keep my toes on the floor. Carolina will lift hers. A little more challenging version of the pose. Bring the left arm up in front and wrap the right arm underneath and around, palm to palm. Keep the breath flowing. Gaze at some stationary point. And even though you're gazing at some point, feel that your awareness is primarily inside, in your center. Silently affirm, at the center of life's storms, I stand serene. the center of life's storms, I stand serene. And let's release the arms. Inhale, stretch open, release the leg. Back to Tadasana, close the eyes. And even though you're no longer wrapped around that center, now there's no position to hold to occupy any of your attention. You can put it fully in your center. And let's do the opposite side. Shift the weight to the right leg. Wrap the left around, either toes on the floor or better still, in the air, as you wish. Bring the right arm up in front, left arm underneath and around. Try to breathe in the spine. Feel the rising current in the spine as you inhale. Descending current as you exhale. It's not the physical spine, it's the energy spine right in the center of your torso. Silently repeating, at the center of life's storms, I stand serene. Let's release the arms. Inhale, stretch open. Exhaling, returning to Tadasana. Let the body relax. Even these little movements, feel that you're coming back to center when you complete them. Let's do Ardha Chandrasana, half moon pose. Again, a sideways bend of the spine, back and forth, opening up. The flow of energy in the spine, palms forward, inhaling, circling up, interlacing, thumbs, palms forward, exhalation, hips right, shoulders left. Keep the shoulders relaxed down away from the ears, but feel the spine lengthening up toward your hands. Step the feet a little closer together if that works for you, but if balance is too tricky, then 
have a little bit wider stance. Silently affirm strength and courage. Fill my body cells. Strength and courage. Fill my body cells. Inhale, reach tall. Exhaling, relax arms down. Close the eyes, back to center. And since you've only done one side of this pose, you could perhaps feel yourself a little bit off center, not symmetric. We're going to correct that in a moment, but use that feeling of being off center as, as a, a motivation to want to come back to center. It doesn't feel as good as being in center. So let's do the other side to even that out. Palms forward. Inhale up. Exhale. Hips left. Shoulders right. Feel the left side of the body receiving the stretch as the right side lengthens actively. The left side receives the lengthening opening. Strength and courage fill my body cells. And inhale, reach tall. Exhaling, relax arms down. Soften shoulders, lift the gaze to the point between the eyebrows. Now fully back to center, having equalized the sides. Just feel that evenness of mind when you are in that center, that evenness that's going to enable you to cope with any situation that comes along. Let's do warrior one pose, Virabhadrasana one. Let's step the left foot forward, the right foot way back. You can have the right heel facing straight back behind you or the right sole of the foot totally on the floor. Come into a lunging position, knee over ankle with the left side. Let's inhale, sweep the hands forward and up, lift the heart, lift the gaze, lengthen the spine. Keep the breath flowing smoothly, even in the midst of effort. You can stay aware of that. Center within, it's not allowing effort to take you out of a place of even-minded and cheerful. It's that determination to let nothing take you out of where you want to be. One more breath. Let's inhale, straighten up and step the right foot forward. Exhaling, relax down. Close the eyes and allow the body to soften totally into center. You feel the release in the legs, feel it rising up into your center. And let's do the opposite side now. Step the left foot way back. Again, come into a deep lunging position, right knee over right ankle. Find a good, stable place here for you. So if the knee heel off the floor is not stable enough for you, then bring the sole of the foot in full contact with the floor. Inhale, sweep the hands forward and up. Opening, breath flowing. Feel like you're observing everything from that calm center of your being. Not getting involved in the drama. Just enjoying the show. Breath is always a convenient focal point. Just feel it moving smoothly, evenly. When the breath is even, the mind tends to be even. One more breath. And 
Next inhale, let's reach up and step forward. Exhale, relax, arms down. Softening in the center, always stronger and stronger in the center of who you are. Let's come down onto the floor now in a cross-legged position. You can sit on a cushion if you like. I like to usually. Helps me sit with a straighter spine. Straight spine, really a key element of staying even-minded so that energy can flow easily through the body. Let's do a little twist from this position now. Bring the left hand behind, right hand to left knee. Lead into the twist with your navel. Let's inhale, press the left arm into the floor, lengthening. Exhale, navel comes around, followed by rib cage, and finally followed by the head turning. Keep pressing down into the floor through the left arm to keep the spine as long as it can be. So you can get a sense of rotating on your center. The twist can be marvelous for giving you a clearer and clearer sense of where that center is, where even-mindedness lives. That center point between all opposites. One more breath here. And as you exhale, slowly untwist back to center. Let's close the eyes briefly between sides. And once again, feel that little sense of uh, not quite balanced here. I've twisted one way, but I haven't really twisted the other. Let that call your attention to where your center truly is. Let's do the other side now. Right hand behind, left hand to right knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, lead with the navel around to your right. Keep the chest open. Shoulders level. Turning your gaze over right shoulder. Keep the belly open. Let the breath move into the belly so that you are constantly relaxing more and more, even in the midst of a little bit of effort, not very much in a simple twist like this. Everything happens in reference to your center. Let's do one more breath, inhaling, lengthening, exhaling, and rotating back to center. Close the eyes now and let the body soften into center. Feel that even-minded state. Yogananda used to say, the yogi must learn to stand unshaken amidst the crash of breaking worlds. That's the essence of even-mindedness. Something to aspire to, not necessarily easy, but very, very key to happiness. Let's do Chanishirasana, head to knee pose. I'll turn sideways here. Carolina will face you. I'm gonna sit, we'll both sit on a cushion just to help tip the pelvis forward a little bit. Let's stretch the left leg out to the side, right foot into the inner left thigh. Inhale, stretch tall, turn to the left leg, exhale, reach out with a straight spine, let the hands come down wherever they will. Couple breaths here with a straight spine. So as you wanna feel the belly real open here, also the back of the neck long. You know, if you're watching the screen, it sometimes is hard to resist turning your head up like this, but try to keep your gaze more at your foot. One more breath. Exhale and go ahead and lay the torso down. So wherever it goes, you can walk the hands out farther if they reach the foot, fine. If they don't, fine. This is not about where we reach with the hands, it's about opening 
the spine, silently affirm, left and right and all around, life's harmonies are mine. Left and right and all around, life's harmonies are mine. All right, let's walk the hands in now, slowly coming back to an upright position, inhaling, reach tall, exhaling, and draw the left foot in now to cross-legged position. Once again, let's close the eyes, and again, we're draw going out to one side, the left part of left and right and all around, and we'll soon go out to the right side, and just ever refining that sense of where the center is. Now let's stretch the right leg out to the side. Left foot to inner right thigh. Inhaling, reach tall. Turn to the right leg, exhaling, straight spine. Even if that means you hardly come over, that's fine. We're gonna spend a couple breaths here, getting a long spine as we can, straight as spine as we can. And on the exhalation, the next exhalation, go ahead and surrender relaxing, allowing the spine to round as is appropriate for your spine. Close the eyes, turn the gaze to the point between the eyebrows. And just concentrate, not so much on the stretch through the back of the right leg. Concentrate on the ease and opening in the spine. Let's walk the hands back in, coming back to upright, inhaling, lifting, exhaling, and releasing into a comfortable cross-legged position once again. Just let the all movement cease as it returns to center. Again, just concentrate for a moment. Think for a moment on that idea of staying even-minded, the being the ocean, not the waves. Yes, the little dramas will come, even big dramas. But the more we practice being unshaken, the more happiness will be ours. Let's come on to the front side of the body now for half bow pose, Ardha Dhanurasana. We're going to be up on the left elbow to start with here and the forearm across the body. Try to keep the elbow directly beneath the shoulder and that way out in front of you. Bend the right knee, reach the right arm back to grasp the ankle. And on the inhalation, reach back and up through the right leg, drawing yourself into the half bow pose. Try not to twist, make the, even, the shoulders uneven. Try to keep the chest facing forward, especially the, the right side of the chest, which may tend to draw back. Close the eyes and concentrate your mind on the spine. Silently affirm, I recall my scattered forces to recharge my spine. One more breath. And let's relax back down. Arms by your sides, turn the head to one side. Let's pause briefly between sides. And let's do the other side now. Come up, in, up on the right elbow, bending left knee, reaching back to grab the left ankle, and on inhalation, reach back and up strongly through the left leg. Try to keep the left side of the chest moving forward. Don't let it be pulled back, but rather let the leg be drawn up farther. Just pour, feel the energy pouring into the spine. As you affirm, I recall my scattered forces to recharge my spine. One more breath. Let's see if you can lift up a little more with that one more breath. 
On the exhalation, relax back down. Let's immediately push back into child pose. Just let the back side of the body stretch out. So we open the spine with the forward bend with Janusharasana. We then fill that open spine with prana through Ardha Dhanurasana. Wonderful sequence. Forward bend, backward bend. Open, fill. Now we're going to do an inversion to pour some of that energy as much as we can into the brain. We're going to do Karna Pirasana. For those of you who are not familiar with the pose, please follow me. Adhamukha Svanasana, the downward dog, is what we'll do. But if you're familiar with Karna Pirasana, you can get a blanket or two, which Carlina is going to use two blankets, helps to protect your cervical curve. Lie shoulders on blanket, head off blanket. And let's bring the legs up and overhead, bending the knees, bending the knees alongside the ears, coming onto the tops of the toes, stretching the toes away from you. And the tops of the toes, you can interlace the fingers behind you, roll onto the tops of the shoulders to get the spine more vertical, get it straighter, and let the knees sink toward the floor. Tops of the toes touching the floor. If you like, you can circle the hands in over the inner, over the outer knees, and then over your ears. Wrap yourself up in a nice bundle. Really a beautiful pose for taking yourself inward, into your center. So don't be looking at the screen as if you're doing this pose. If you're not going to do this pose, just come on into Downward Facing Dog with me. If you're not there already, straighten the knees as much as possible without losing the straightness of the spine. Both these poses really promote quieting of the mind. But silently affirm, my boat of life floats lightly on tides of peace. My boat of life floats lightly on tides of peace. And now slowly, under control, gracefully roll out of the pose. Let the back come to the floor. If you do are doing Karnaparasana, legs come to the floor. Take the blankets out from underneath you and lie back in corpse pose. And do the same if you were doing downward facing dog. Do one more asana. Very briefly, matsyasana, fish pose. Bring the palms to the floor underneath the buttocks. Elbows in close to your sides. And as you inhale, press elbows and sit bones down and arch up, coming lightly onto the back corner of the head, not onto the crown of the head. Very little weight resting even on the back corner of the head. Pressing through elbows, pressing through sit bones, arching up and open as you silently affirm, my soul floats on waves of cosmic light. Feel your awareness expanding in all directions, but from your center. Never losing awareness of the place from which you expand. That what enables you to stay even-minded. One more breath. And let's release to corpse pose, Shavasana. Relax the body on the floor. Settle away from all activity. Turn your consciousness toward the point between the eyebrows. 
behind closed eyelids, just feel your entire world being drawn up into that point. So when we're really living from the point between the eyebrows, that's, that's when we can stay even-minded. then gently begin to move the body. And slowly bring the knees up, wrap your arms around them, squeeze them in, roll left and right across the spine a few times. And over to one side. And then as you're ready, press up to a sitting position cross-legged on the floor or in a chair, straight spine, chin level. Let's do a little bit of Nadi Shodhanam once again. This time we're going to add Bandha. When you're holding the breath with both nostrils closed, we'll add Jalandhara Bandha. We'll drop the chin to chest. When we need to exhale, we'll lift the chin once again and exhale. Okay. So let's block off the right nostril with the thumb and inhale through the left nostril. Let's do a count of six. Close both, chin to chest, go as close as you can get. Lift the chin, release right nostril, exhale. Inhale right. Hold, Jalandhara. Lift the chin, exhale left. Continue on your own now. Inhaling left. And as you hold with the chin down to the chest, just hold the breath as long as it wants to be held, as long as you're very comfortable not straining, and then, and only then, lift the chin and exhale right.
And same on the other side. Just inhale through right. And hold. Chin to chest as long as the breath wants to be held. It's when you really go into deep stillness. And the breath doesn't want to flow. Your mind is quiet. When you need to exhale, just lift the chin and exhale through the left nostril. It doesn't take very much practice of this technique to go deep. One more round. Inhale, left. Hold the breath, chin to chest, as long as you want. your own pace. Exhale when you need to. And completing that round, inhaling right. And holding. And when you finish the exhalation through the left nostril, just sit quietly, easily. Feel the strength in your very center. The center is not a place of a place of hiding, a place of weakness. It's a place of strength. It's when you live there, you have the strength to withstand circumstance. not allowing anything to govern your happiness.
Let's prepare the mind to come back to an outer state of awareness once again. As you're ready, slowly open the eyes. And as you proceed into your next activity, just have a little mantra going on in your mind, Paramahansa Yogananda's words, even-minded and cheerful. That's the way of the yogi. Joy to you.